Caleb here. And in this video, I wanted to talk about attachment and give you guys an actual exercise that you can use every time attachment energy comes up. And it's very simple and it won't take you but a minute to do. So before I get into the exercise, I want to make something very clear. Attachment is not inherently wrong or bad if you have attachment, right? Everybody's going to have attachment. Even the best conscious manifester in the world is still going to have moments of attachment, especially over uh, desires that we consider life altering or life changing, um, you know, like a milestone in life, essentially. So I just want to say that very, very clearly in the beginning. Attachment is not something you're ever going to get rid of, right? But you want to be able to start changing your relationship to the attachment in order to work through it to still manifest what you want. So just to kind of give a recap on what attachment is, attachment is the, it's essentially the embodiment of fear energy, fear that I might not get what I want fear that I won't be okay if I don't get what I want, fear that I have to do something to make it happen, um, I haven't done enough to make it happen, um, I might not be deserving so it might not happen, etc. It's essentially the embodiment of fear, of fear energy. And we're not going to create the outcome that we want by dominantly living in fear energy. A little bit of fear energy is okay, but dominantly living in it we don't want to do that in order to create what it is that we want. So it's very, very simple what you can do with this exercise. So the first thing is just, just notice the attachment, right? Just notice it. Put your awareness on it, essentially. Oh, I can feel that attachment coming up right now, right? I feel like I have to do something to make it happen, or I'm watching the clock, it's been another day, or what if it doesn't happen? You know, what if I can't be okay if it doesn't happen, right? Those types of thoughts, that anxious, it's gripping too tightly, essentially, on the manifestation. So first, just notice the attachment, right? Your awareness kicks in and just let it be okay. It is what it is, right? Do you want to beat yourself up for attachment or just let it be okay? I, I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to be in this box over here because this doesn't make you feel any better. So notice it, let it be okay. And here's the exercise right here. And I, I uh, do this with clients that I work with um, when it comes to dealing with attachment. So close your eyes. Obviously, if you're not operating heavy machinery or walking across the street, right? If you're doing those things, keep your eyes open. But close your eyes and just ground yourself 20, 30 seconds. Do some slow breaths. Notice something like maybe a noise around you or a sensation you're feeling on your body, the, the feeling of your shirt. Just use some sort of sensory um, information, essentially. See, smell, hear, taste, touch. So just ground yourself. It takes 20, 30 seconds. And then put your hand over your heart. You don't have to, but I tell my clients to do it. And remind your mind that it's already happening. It's happening right now. There's nothing we have to do. We don't have to do anything or force anything. It's already happening. Because the present moment is the only moment that exists. And your future, or what we perceive as humans, as because they say time isn't linear, it's just our perception, but that's a whole different video. But your future is created in your present moment. So when we're constantly living in fear or lack, we just keep perpetuating that. We're just manifesting more of the same. So it's not about getting rid of fear or lack forever, right? Or attachment energy. It's about being able to ground yourself back into a neutral space. You don't have to notice attachment, ground yourself into neutral, and then go to super happy energy. Because neutral energy is very powerful for creating as well. So I'll say that again one more time, the exercise. It's very simple. 
notice the attachment, right? The awareness kicks in. For some of you, you may notice the attachment as sensations in your body. You're starting to tense up or you notice it as thoughts. It doesn't matter. Notice it, let it be okay. Close your eyes, do some slow breathing, 20, 30 seconds. Just ground yourself. Use any sensory information. Maybe as your eyes are closed, notice a sound or a smell, whatever it may be. Or you can do a combination of your sensory uh, information if you wanna do that, it's fine. And then put your hand over your heart and remind your mind and your body, both of them, that it's already happening. There's nothing I have to do, it's already happening. Or you can say we, there's nothing we have to do, it's already happening. This is a really powerful practice for really dealing with attachment energy. And you'll start to find that the more you do this, the easier it becomes to just let the attachment go in the moment. I've had some manifestations where I had attachment up until the day it showed up, but that's okay because every time it came up, I noticed it, grounded through it, and then let it go. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's like I've talked about in my videos, the base principle of manifesting is energy and perception management. And most people, no offense to anyone, can't even manage their own energy. They can't even ground themselves or manage their own energy. The unconscious is running the show or the energy in their body, the stuck energy because they don't have their awareness on it. This is a really helpful tool for grounding you into presence whenever you feel attachment energy come up. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and say that, you know, doing this one helpful technique, it is very helpful to ground yourself into presence and to let go of attachment. I'm not gonna say it's gonna solve all your problems or be, you know, there's, there's no, um, there's no magic pill that solves all your problems in life, right? That's gonna solve every single thing. But it can definitely help you along the journey because most people, whenever they deal with attachment, they're not dealing with it. They're unconscious to it and they're letting the attachment run the show. So they're frantically watching more videos and reading books and, and posts and how to make it happen and trying more techniques, but they don't realize in that moment it's the state of being that creates. So they just keep being the person who keeps energetically expressing the lack of it, right? And manifesting very much is about relaxing, allowing, receiving. Think about it this way. I know a lot of you out there watching this video have seen lots of success stories in manifesting, whether it's SP, money, job, health issues, body, whatever it is, you've seen success stories or read them on the internet. What is a super common theme that you see in all success stories in different areas? The people were always focused on their own life. Their energy was retracted. They weren't constantly thinking and daydreaming about this thing all day long. They were fully present and engaged in their own life. Now, it doesn't mean they don't, they don't ever have a moment of attachment or you know a negative feeling to process through, but they're not dominantly living in that energy, the, ener the energetic expression of lack, if that makes sense. You always wanna think of your manifestations as preferences. And that's a really helpful tip. Um, if any of you know Amy from Illuminating Joy, that's a really helpful tip from her. You wanna think of your manifestation stations as preferences. I prefer this over this, but I'm not gonna die if I don't get this. Most people, when they're letting the attachment run the show, are coming from the energy of need. I need this to be okay, which they're just expressing more of I don't have and then getting more of that back, right? The feeling is the secret. You always wanna think of them as preferences. I want it, I don't need it to be okay. There's a difference, right? I want, um, I don't know, a green car, but I'm gonna be okay if I don't get a green car, 
right? I want the green car. I prefer the green car over an orange car, but I'm not going to die if I don't get a green car. That's how you want to think about your manifestations as a preference, not as a need. I, I can't live without it. It's my lifeline. So just wanted to make that video. But yeah, if, um, you know, any of you try this out, you know, maybe try it out for a couple of days and come back to the comment section and, you know, let other people know how, it, how well it worked out for you. Because it really does. It just calms you and just grounds you back into the present moment very easily.